Hey there, welcome back to my channel and today I am troubleshooting why my Seagate hard drive is not connecting to my laptop. I've bought this enclosure to try and replace the port. Hopefully that is the problem. My 2.5 inch external hard drive, it's a 1TB hard drive, it's not powering on and what i've been recommended to do is basically replace this port to see if it will work again i've connected the hard drive to the laptop and the light is flickering it connects and disconnects almost immediately without bringing up any of the data so there is no connection what i need to do is pry open this case cover and see what's inside and I've bought this hard drive enclosure and we'll see what's inside here shortly you've got to loosen the glue on this blue casing it's proving to be quite challenging I'm just gonna pry it open this is proving quite challenging it looks quite easy when somebody else is doing it the glue is quite tough. I hope I'm not going to damage this more than it already is. Okay, so I've loosened that. And I've basically got to try and remove this very carefully. I've got to lift this cover off carefully. And this will void any warranty that you may have on the device. And we're going to try and just lift it off carefully. to get this silver piece off now that we've got it free we want to basically remove this foil from this case at the top and what we want to do is try and remove this board okay so you basically want to remove it and it clips off quite easily and let's see the enclosure that I've bought. This is the enclosure. Let's see what's inside the box. I hope this is gonna work. charging cable ah a little screwdriver that's my favorite this enclosure for the hard drive and it's basically is this little box and it slides open so it's got a new port for the slot and hopefully this is the problem that i'm experiencing a little case a new cable and little screws that will fit into the side of the casing and obviously this is my favorite that i've now got in this little box which is a little star screwdriver this is my old hard drive and i pried it open from the casing and we're just going to discard that and we've opened the, the foil you can see the port here and it has this little board and you want to unclip this board and then clip this hard drive into the new casing so it basically just clips off and i'm hoping that this is or this was my problem and this board basically comes off here so this is the new port and i'm going to try clip it back in here and see what happens so that clips quite nicely in there and i've got to get this part back into the case together with this foil piece i wonder if i can just discard this i'm not going to do with this
I'm also going to now carefully put back into its slot, which is not fitting because this backing. So I'm just going to cut that extra piece of foil and cardboard off so that it can slide back into this casing. This is my hard drive and I've clipped the new adapter part back into my hard drive and I'm going to slot it into the new casing that I've bought. Okay, so it's gone in and it fits perfectly. Now to try if it actually works. I've clipped it back into place and I'm going to try it before I put the cover back on. And let's try. So the adapter is the same, looks promising. The lights come on and it's spinning. Let's check if it's um, here. Here it is. So my Seagate is being recognized. Wow, what a relief that I'm going to get my data back. Let's see if it does remain so. Okay, here it is. Okay, so it is picking up my drive. And all my pictures are going to be back in there. What a relief. It was a quick fix. And well worth it instead of losing all the data. This is my one terabyte hard drive. And let's see if it's just going to slide back into place. Oops, <laughs> that didn't go well. I'm going to slip this back into its casing and it's quite easy to fit into the casing. And there's these little holes on the side for the screws. I'm going to put the screws in or just leave it. It's quite, it's quite intact. And I really like this pouch that came with it. This um, casing actually just cost like $10, which... I'm super impressed by the casing costs ten dollars to replace this I ordered the casing online from takealot.com and it basically took a day to get to me it's all fixed and I've recovered my data I got many tips on what could have been the problem it could have been a virus or it could have been damage to the hard drive itself but I'm glad that the solution was just replacing this port here. It is quite temperamental this port when you're clipping in this um, USB. Oops. Now I see why you need and there it is it's switching on. Okay so I, I recommend putting the screws in Otherwise, it's going to keep moving. Even with my long nails, I've managed to get it in. And let's just try to screw this in. And let's get the other one in as well. I'm trying to get the screw. It's like really tiny and it keeps falling. My long nails don't really help with trying to get the screw in. Okay, hopefully I'm going to get it in now. You see, it really doesn't... Oh, there we go, it's in. That was completely accidental. And that is one of the ways to troubleshoot your hard drive that's not working. I'm really glad this was the only problem with the hard drive and I can access the data again because I was devastated when I saw that this wasn't booting up and I couldn't. So if you look on my screen, it comes up with the Seagate hard drive, which is fantastic. And I've used up almost one gig of that hard drive and I should transfer this onto the bigger hard drive. I hope you found this useful and that this is the only problem that you may encounter. So what you want to do is just get one of these enclosures for your hard drive. Make sure it's the right size. 
perfectly for one of these 2.5 inch Seagate hard drives and here yeah, this is completely useless now and the ports are very temperamental and they get loose quite easily. I'm glad this was my quick fix for case that comes with it. So if you want to take your hard drive with, so pop it in there. And that's it. All done.